the theme for the festival of the Epiphany is that the light of grace shows us the way in our lives. I'm wondering if anybody here is afraid of the dark. No. Nobody? Hmm? Well, good for you. Some people are. Some people are absolutely terrified of being in the dark, especially little kids. You know, they say, Daddy, turn off the dark which I always think is interesting. They don't say turn on the light. They say turn off the dark. I'm reminded of a line from Al Pacino in the movie Scent of a Woman. And if you're familiar with it, he plays a blind man. And in that movie, he comments, I'm in the dark here! <laughs> which refers not just to his inability to see, but also his inability to see what's going on in his life. And so it is that people today, much like the Hebrews of our first lesson, feel lost, feel in the dark, and they feel afraid because they can't see the future. They can't see what comes next. The prophet Isaiah speaks to those people and reassures them that even though they are living in a time of darkness, they had been captives in Babylon for many years, they have now come back to their native country and their land is devastated. And they're thinking, what, what do we have? Where is our future? He assures them that God's light is going to shine on them. Now I mentioned last week in talking about my brother when he was a child being afraid of shadows at night and thinking they were monsters coming to get him. If you are a fan of the Charles Schultz comic strip, Peanuts, Charlie Brown has the commentary, if you ask yourself a question at two in the morning and ask it again 12 hours later, you get two different answers. <laughs> So to a people who are trapped in darkness, God promises a light that will reveal their path for them. In fact, it was this passage where he talks about our light shining, a reflected light from God that will attract kings, which then becomes the basis for the epiphany story of the three kings who come to visit Jesus. We know they weren't actually kings. They not, may not even have worked for kings. But nevertheless, there is the notion that even the greatest on earth will be attracted to the light of God. From the prophet Isaiah chapter 60, beginning at verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the people's. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nation shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah and all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Here ends our first lesson. Our psalm for this morning. It's printed on page 248 in the front of the hymnals. We will read verses 1 through 14 of Psalm 72. Well, let's read it responsibly. Within the verses, I'll read it up to the star. You read the second half of the verse. Give the king your justice, O God. 
and your, your righteousness, righteousness to the, to the king's, king's son, son, that he may rule your people righteously and, and the poor with, with justice. justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and, and the, the little hills bring, bring righteousness. righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall so rescue the poor and, and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from, from one generation, generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like, like showers, showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish, that there, there may be abundance of peace, till the, the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and, and from, from the, the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him, and, and his, his enemies, enemies lick the dust. dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isle shall pay tribute, and, and the, the kings, kings of Arabia and Saba offer, offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and, and all nations, nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cry out in distress, and the, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity upon the lowly and poor. He shall, he shall preserve, preserve the lives of the needy. needy. He shall proclaim, he shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence. And, and dear shall be their blood in his sight. Our second lesson is a portion of Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, a city that is in modern day Turkey. Chapter three, verses one through 12. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles, surely you heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. That is the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to men in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery that is through the gospel, the Gentiles and heirs together with Israel, members together of one body and sharers together in the promise of Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given to me to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. In him and through faith in him, we approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you therefore not to be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. For this reason, I kneel before the Father. Here ends the second lesson. We rise for the good news of the gospel. The gospel according to Matthew, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. 
Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then they opened their treasure chests. They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated.